How you doing, young lady? What's your name? Elise. Elise, nice to meet you. Elise. Nice to meet you. Where are you from, Elise? Uh, the far northeast, Philadelphia, originally Bucks County, also. Okay, um, what's your drug of choice? More. More? Explain more. More, like, um, I'm a, a garbage head. I, uh, speed bombs, which is like ice and dope and powder and I smoke hard when I can afford it more. So you just want more of everything? I just, yeah, pretty much. It's right. just I, I like to feel all those different feelings and um, I can't pick a favorite so I just, I do them all. Like all of them? So you just want all of them? <laughs> I, yeah, right. For as numb as I am, I like to feel if that makes, doesn't make any sense, but it's what it is. Um, this time, I um, had a bad breakup. Uh, I just had seven months sober. Um, let me wait till the the L's going by. Hold on, I can't hear myself right now. So, I just had seven months sober. Um, I had a bad breakup with uh, a 20 year horrible relationship um, and I ended up here because I burnt every bridge. Um, I have a, a family of, I'm getting choked up already. Don't get choked up. I know, no, 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 well no I do, I have like I have a great family um, but not when I'm using so that's why I'm here because I'm not done. I want, I want to want to be done, but like I'm, today, I don't want to be done. All right, so um, that kind of messed me up a little bit. Okay, um, so would you um explain your day like what what you down here like how you down here explain your day from when you wake up to when you go to sleep? Okay, so um, I'm like. Only, I, I relapsed like six weeks ago, so I'm still getting into the, you know, the routine. Um, like I said, it's not my first rodeo down here. Um, but uh, I just, I, so I like, I've been staying by myself, right? Because I'm sick of getting robbed all the time. Um, and it's just, it's easier, you know, alone. Although, like, I am talking to myself a lot and answering myself, which is a little bit, a little bit scary, um, but hey, I talk a lot, so I gotta talk to somebody. But I wake up. Uh, well, first, it has to. I, I have to begin at the end because I never know, you know, where I'm laying my head. Um, I just was offered an a, a band dominium. We'll see how long that lasts. But um, I've been staying at 30th Street Station, um, or um, I tried my old neighborhood. I had an apartment in Frankfurt for the last couple of years. Um, I tried that park dangerous dangerous um so we'll see if the abandonment works and then so i wake up and then you know uh, I, it's my grind like what am i doing to get my money how um how am i going to get through my day where am i going and i never i really don't know i have adhd really bad and it's kind of like a really good thing because it's just a wherever the wind blows me type of thing you know i'm not um you know, I, I'm not a booster, like I don't have a career um, in, you know, stealing. I'm not good at it. I just got arrested for that uh, like four days ago. Um, and because I, I was told that I, they were, they said that they thought I was the lookout. So I don't think it's going to even go to trial or whatever because they didn't find anything. Um, but, yeah, so I'm not good at that. I found that out. Um, or I go... Um, Basically, you know, I've been a, I'm a good person, right? So I've helped a lot of people out, especially like this latest little stretch of clean time. So I've been able to pick up um, some some money that has been owed to me. It's been not nearly as much of what I put out, you know what I mean? So um, there's been people that have helped me um, still uh, like friends wise, um, you know, cash at me or whatever. So just basically that. And um, I put I've dropped like 25 pounds in the last six weeks. So clearly I'm not eating um, like I should. But, you know, that's also stress, too, I think. Um, that's basically, you know, it. Um, I, oh, and uh, 
you know, trying to figure out, like, where my clothes are going to come from, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know why I bring everything that I can, that I, not everything I own, but I try and um, carry it all around because it gets stolen. But before that, you know what I mean? It just, I can't go into stores, I can't do this, I can't, you know what I mean? Um, but I just always feel like I'm forgetting something or I'm going to need something. Like, you know, if something's missing, which is, I don't know my um my sanity I guess <laughs> my my being sober my sobriety so yeah I really don't know I don't have a good hustle yet um and hopefully so I how won't do you so? uh, how do you so, um, my habit yeah. but well there's samples all the time luckily um you know I I don't I, even though my ex likes like um always accuses me of it uh, I don't you know sell my ass I won't say that, like, I have never done something that I, uh, you know, I'm not ashamed of, like, for for my um, addiction. Not really for my addiction. I, I've been pressured into things, or th and things have happened to me because I get high. I just had a guy take advantage of me. Um, he said, you know, well, you get high, and he said... Um, that, you know, he, the morning times is the best time for sex. So I started to take advantage of you. Like, that's rape. And that's why I said consensual sex is the best kind of sex. And, um, but I was, I was high. And so you feel like he raped you? He did, you know. Um, and I, like, I just, uh, I went to the hospital to try to get, like, looked at. And so I had, like, a pocket knife. I had, like, um, pepper spray and then I had like uh you know needles that weren't used in my backpack and the ladies were like oh well we're gonna have you know they took the the my and it, after that had happened like I needed my pocket knife and my pepper spray they took that away from me and they're like we have to go through your bag I'm like you know and I started to cry I'm like listen I just want to get looked at you know um and then I said what had happened to me she's like what are you crying about you're the one with needles in your bag like as if I deserved it or something which that's basically what he said you know what I mean um so yeah it should it really sucks because like you know being f five foot tall and a woman and like barely a hundred pounds um <clears throat> I have no there's like I'm not safe out here and I just you know it's really hard to um trust people like because they always have an ulterior motive especially down here that's so I'm learning that's the same. You shouldn't have to feel like that. No. I couldn't believe somebody that worked at a hospital was talking to me like that, you know. She was security, but still, like, you know, I just, especially when you say something like that private. I can't believe I just said it, like, on the, you know what I mean? Whatever. I mean, I, I, um, I'm not, like, a snitch or whatever like that. I was violated, and um, that's not cool. So, like, I don't know. And anybody thinks that, like, that's not what it is, like, it, it, then you're fucked up, too. That's definitely not cool. Mm-mm. No. And you said it had to feel like that. You said to go see that. Mm. Thank you. Now, um... I would like to know, um, I'd like to know a little bit about your background before you came to Kensington. What was your, um, what was your life like before you came down here? Um, so, I, like, I'm a mom, um, I have, um, I had four daughters. I gave my youngest two up from birth, right, so, uh, yeah. Oh, 